So since winning season seven of Food Network Star, this Le Cordon Bleu graduate has kept pretty busy as a co-host and judge on Worst Cooks in America Celebrity Edition, two being a co-host on the long-running show The Kitchen and host of Kitchen Crash, which is back for a second season. Take a look. Kitchens will be ransacked. No flour. We're out of flour. Oh, my gosh. Neighbors will flip for the juiciest burger on the block. We're going to throw ourselves a world-class cooking competition using only the ingredients they find in those houses. Hey, AJ! AJ! That's where the money is. Just about anything can happen, and our next guest was there to see it all go down, and he's here to give us a little sliver of what's ahead. So please welcome Chef. TV host, actor, author, and the sandwich king himself, Mr. Jeff Morrow. Oh, yeah. In up? the house, also known as to my mom as my Jeff. So yeah, I love that. That's you, you, also I, I mean, I, 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 I couldn't think of a more endearing compliment than having your mother call me her Jeff. Well, I mean, the, that's. She got to fight with my mom, obviously, for that, uh, for that right, but uh, she, she might have her she, every weekend morning. Rounds. That's what she does. She's with you guys watching the kitchen. And by the way, I'm watching, I'm going, I'm looking behind you, and there's a lot of cuteness happening, not the guitar. Is that dog? No, it's that dumb dog behind me. Listen, if he wasn't in here, he might be peeing on the carpet <laughs> in the next room. So while what, what you read as cuteness is me is just, just keeping me from uh, ripping up another carpet square that we invested in. <laughs> oh, but it's still, a, it's going to be a cute carpet oh, rip, I got to say. How, what's the dog's rip. name? That's Pino G. P and uh, he's, uh, you know, I have two dogs and he's oh. one of them. He's, more, he's the more spirited one. Okay. OG and Pino G. If you need a Pino G walker. It's short OG's for Pino here. Grigio. We named him after my, my mom's uh, favorite beverage. Oh, okay. What's the other dog called? Jojo. Oh, jo okay then. What what is it named after? Your mom's favorite nephew? You know, my mom's uh, yeah, my mom's <laughs> or my mom's favorite child, my brother Jojo. You have a brother um, Jojo? No, I don't. Oh, that whatever. Would be really terrible. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this show, uh, Kitchen Crash. It looks like a lot of fun. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of stress, unpredictable. Explain how it works. Uh, talk about it's so stressful. I, I know. mean. First of all, this is the, the, the block where we're ambushing not only these kitchens, but we're crashing the block party that these blocks have planned. And they think this television crew is coming to the block to shoot the beautification of their block party or the world's greatest block party. They don't even know it's a Food Network show. So when we get there, nobody's like pre-gamed, okay? Oh. Nobody's fluffed their kitchens up with unlimited groceries. Uh, they're just as shocked when they see my brand new kitchen crash emblazoned RV roll up. They're like, uh-oh, this is definitely a Food Network show. So when those chefs go into those homes, it's the weekend. We only shot on the weekends. We are in Harrington Park, New Jersey, Melbourne. We're on Long Island. And these people were ready to party. And little did they know with these camera crews uh, uh, that once they chefs you knocked on their door, they let them in. And if they agree to play for the, you know, the game, they agree to win possibly five thousand dollars. The chef wins five thousand dollars, and their kitchen is completely just mopped up and raided and stuffed into a bin. And that bin has to last these chefs through three very intense rounds of cooking. All right. So I know you're the host. Uh, do you also get to chime in on the decision making, or or you have I, your own judges? Uh, OG, I have so much work to do on this show. <laughs> I am the host. I am a judge. Ooh. Not only am I judging and tasting all the rounds, but I'm also, uh, you know, uh, an ambassador, if you will, to the entire block. So I'm not in my trailer, and you'll see it in the footage. I mean, I'm playing dodgeball with the kids, foot races, dunking on rims. Whether or not those rims are 10 feet regulation, that remains to be seen, OG. <laughs> but I'm, I'm embedded in the community because Listen, you, you look out that window right there. I'm, I still live in the neighborhood I grew up in. Mm -hmm. I'm raising my son in that. We have block parties. I am uh, I'm from the culture of block parties. So I'm, I'm right in there doing keg stands, jello shots, of gambling. Course you <laughs> of course but, you are. Wait, so I took a picture of a few things. I know you're not competing, but I took a picture of some things in my fridge to see how easy it would be for you to whip up something. So we have a few All pictures. Right, let's see. I did. Ooh, okay, yeah. so that's part of my fridge. You have bread and cashew milk yogurt. <laughs> And then well, let, let me correct you. It's probiotic cashew. I'm milk sorry, milk. probiotic cashew milk yogurt. Yeah. And what's a the heck next of a lot one? Of day? Eggs there. And I have Jeez. eggs. Do you own chickens? No, I don't. I'm a chicken. You, I, 
Is, do you have a, a side uh, a, a side gig, like making frittatas? No, I don't eat meat, so I have I only okay. eat fish and eggs. So that's my main oh, protein. Oh, I love that. Very good. So is it Very easy? Free. Would it be easy for you to whip something oh, up? I have tortillas. I, would know, yeah. I have chickpeas. Spinach. I see baby spinach. Let me keep oh, seeing have... here. Some uh, plant-based cheese. Not great for melting. Okay, move on. Okay, I know like very you're very healthy, obviously. Siete on the flour, we love those. I'm not but uh, just so, a tremendous amount of garbanzo beans. I know because I love them from the pandemic. Oh, I would I would do great and the chefs would do great. That is because you have fresh ingredients. Thank you. And this is the problem. A lot of these people, it's Friday, Saturday, it's the weekend. I don't know about your fridge on the weekend, but Friday nights, pizza night, Saturday, we're going out. So we don't have these giant stock pantries and fridges full of fresh produce in meats and everything. So you really have to use your imagination with what is available to you on that day, whether it's frozen meat that you gotta quickly defrost or canned garbanzo beans, anything like that uh, to get your See? protein, your veg. All right, so come to my there. hood next time, Jeff. And and also, I know you like, you've been, you're What's doing your so address? much. With... I'm gonna plug it in my phone. And yeah, yeah, I, I'm what sending it to you right now. I have your bestie here, but talk to me about, you have a business about the way you have provisions. <laughs> Wait. Where yeah, are you? <laughs> you scared the dog. The dog Wait, was dead. Why are you coming in on my plug, Ben? How Sorry, dare plug, you? plug, plug, plug. Uh, oh, yeah, Marl Provision. That's my shirt, Jardinera. I don't know if you've ever had it. I'm trying to um, bring this to the masses. It's a uh, fermented pickle, very gut healthy for you. Oh. A melange medley of uh, peppers and oh. vegetables. It's a Chicago staple. It's on our table for everything you put on sandwiches. It's so good for you. Only 20 calories a spoon for What? Uh, and this is how you, so it would fit right in your fridge, totally vegan, gluten-free, all that stuff. Listen. It's in golden oil. It's so good for you. We got you're my, you're, you're my guy, just stuff. like you're my, you're my mom's Jeff. It's, all, it's a pleasure chatting with you. You have to come back again, and we can cook something with Jardinara. Play us a Everyone, song, Jeff. There he is. Grab a He's guitar, my favorite. play the song. Everyone can crash the premiere of season two of his hit show, uh, Kitchen Kids Crash. It's happening crash. July 12th on Kids Food Network. You better check it out. Jeff Morrow on bass, guitar, Ben, backup dancing. See you soon, Jeff. <laughs> Ripping it. Metallica. Oh, oh my God, he's <laughs> lower. <laughs> my hip. Oh my God, I need a. Oh my God, I just love that. Such a pleasure to meet you, Hazel and Craig. God. God. <laughs> that that just crazy. went off the rails yep. really quick.